Hello, good morning. This is recording. Uh, hey, good morning. How are you guys? Uh, good morning. Today, topic I'm going to talk about cargo. Why cargo? Cargo. There is a lot of cargo. Cargo is a very important topic in terms of aviation, uh, and uh, we need to know about a lot of things about cargo. How? What is cargo? How it is handled? What are different types of cargo? How do you handle cargo? These things and all. So let's begin everything now. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn a lot of things about aviation of various topics, not only about the general topics as well as about the subjects which is related to aviation in colleges like BBA in aviation. I've, I've been teaching airport operations, baggage handling, airline route and planning, um, airline uh, airport hospitality and management, uh, airline laws and regulations, airport finance management. Uh, airline finance management um, and various other courses the ATC air traffic control safety and security and um, cargo management uh, this things along okay please stay tuned to me to my channel please keep subscribing to know all the latest things about this one I will be coming up with a lot more interesting videos I will be sharing all my information to you guys please keep in tune okay what is cargo cargo is nothing but a general goods general goods which is being carried doing transportation that is called cargo cargo can be anything okay what i'm wearing a blazer your blazer is also a cargo and your shoes yes is a cargo blankets wooden materials bottles cans drawers mm, wooden garments these things are all cargo okay for your information so cargo what is the definition definition of cargo is nothing but the cargo is a, is a general goods which is being transported from one place to another place that is in terms of air transport air cargo okay types of cargo today we'll be studying topics on uh, cargo goods types of cargo goods handling methods of cargo leakage goods and handling procedure let's talk about cargo goods okay definition of cargo goods anything loaded in an aircraft except for mail and baggage so that means we are going to load anything in the aircraft except for the baggage. Baggage, you know that the people generally they carry the baggage once they go in transporting from one place to another place. Yeah, they'll be carrying one baggage trolley or second, two baggage trolley or third. Or the mail, the documentation which is being sent from one place to another place. Except these two items, anything is being carried in an aircraft is known as cargo. Okay, so we'll be studying more on this in the different day-to-day -day activities. The first thing we are going to study is the definition we have already finished. Okay, what? How do the documents? How do the cargo being transported? The cargo being transported in forms of an um, of an air bill. Air bill. What is an air bill? That is an important topic. There are a lot of various, lot of things to be studied in the air bill. Air bill is an official document for the cargo transportation from one place to another place. You can't just transport your uh, cargo from one place to another place, just as it is. Like for example, the passenger, if they want to travel, you require a ticket, isn't it? Okay, uh, so so as like, if you want to send a cargo from one place to another place, you require an airway bill, very important thing. In the airway bill, what is the information being present? The shipper, what is the shipper? Shipper is the one who sends the cargo. Let's see, for example, if I'm sending you the cargo, that is called I'm the shipper. I, let's see, for example, Mr. Sujit is receiving the cargo in Mumbai. So he is a consignee. So if I'm from Bangalore, Mr. Uh, okay, I'm sending the cargo. I'm, I call as a shipper. The person who received the cargo is known as the consignee. Okay, okay, so you should know these things. The shipper name is myself, the consignee name, Mr. Sujit name, and a name and address, and the phone number. I want to of contents, like number of goods, how many number of items you're carrying, and we're going to study slowly, slowly, on a day-to-day -day basis. So we will have a whole first topic on one day on airway bill, so that you don't have to worry about it. So uh, as I told you, the airway bill uh, is an official document which is being used for the transportation of cargo from one place to another place. Okay, let's study the types of cargo. What are the different types of cargo? We have loose cartoons like boxes, wooden boxes, or cartoons, fiberboard boxes, or cartoons is being there. Those are called the loose cartoons. This is one of the cargo types. The second one is the drums. You saw the drums, yeah, which is made up of long 
kind of thing which is being stored that is called drums plastic ones this is drums and this is also kind of a cargo as well the third one is a live animal somebody asked me uh, can horse being transported from one place to another place of course it's being transported but of course it requires uh, different ULD ULD means unit load devices horses is being transported in the form of a horse stalls and generally it is being loaded in the freighter freighter means only the uh, aircraft which carries uh, uh, which carries for, uh, which carries uh, for, uh, cargo only, not the passengers and that. Okay, and uh, we have live animal. What are the live animal like dog? Yeah, a lot of people these days they have dogs in their homes, dogs, cats. Yes, uh, some of them they have parrots. Yeah, some of them they have rabbits at home. Some of them they have horses. The horses are usually used for the race course purpose and as well okay so how it is being transported is being transported in the form of a cage we're going to store it like a made of permanent like a wooden kind of cage or a plastic kind of a ready-made cage you get it for it depends on the sizes but horses are not carrying the cage it is called in a different uh, ULD called horse stall ULD means unit load devices unit load device okay so okay what are different types of cargo in that we have perishables what are perishables perishable are nothing but we have a fish for fish is being transported from one place in uh, another and india is one of the largest supporter of the fish from uh, kerala especially from kerala and from the coastal borders we send lots of fish and go up let's say for example yeah and from uh, bay of bengal also we export a lot of fishes from here so this is being sent and also fruits and vegetables Okay, now let's see for example, Bangalore is the largest exporter of coriander and chilies and Bombay is a exporter of a uh, lot of fruits and vegetables as well. So we have different places, like this is nothing but perishables, okay, and we have uh, apples, bananas, cherries, a capsicum, flowers, yes, perishable flowers, yeah, India does export flowers from one place to other place and uh, we send flowers as well. And it's being stored in the form of a perishable container and they have a perishable unit as well that is called the temperature control units. Those are a little bit expensive in terms of transportation, uh, but it is worthy. Yeah. So we'll study more on the ULDs. We'll study a lot of things on the ULD as well. So we have wet cargo. Wet cargo means the fishes, live fishes being stored in the plastic. It will be moving. That is called the wet cargo. Okay. For information, that is wet cargo. Okay. So types of cargo. Personal effects. What is personal effects? I mean, general cargo, uh, like a, uh, boxes or something. Okay, somebody asked me the question. If I'm traveling in an airport and I have a baggage of about 60 kilo and I'm allowed to carry only 40 kilo, what about this two, 20 kilo extra? Can I be sending as cargo? Can, can you, any guess? Yes, you can send those 20 kilo extra kilo as cargo, provided you follow all the formalities provided you go through, uh, prepare the error bill, go from the agent or the airline, then you can send. What is the difference between the baggage and cargo? Yeah, baggage if you pay for 20 kilo extra, per one kilo you are paying 1000 dirhams or 1000 rupees. If I'm in Bangalore, if I'm in standing, 1000 rupees for one kilo you're sending to internationally. So let's see if you multiply by 1000 multiplied by 20, 20,000 rupees you are spending more. Okay. To avoid that, you can send that 20 kilo extra as cargo. Mm. Let's see you form it in. If you send by cargo, it will just cost you over six, seven thousand maximum. So how much you have reduced? Almost about fourteen thousand. You have reduced. You have reduced the cost of it. Okay. This is enough for today's topic. We'll be discussing more on this. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel to receive all my information. To receive all my data daily basis i'm here to support you give my best knowledge comment on my videos subscribe to me bell on my video like my channels comment uh, communicate with me through the uh, through the email address or from my phone number that is double nine four five nine zero nine two zero four or whatsapp number nine seven one triple five zero four nine one nine one or email address Manawar M U N A W A R A H M E D 007 at gmail.com. Thank you very much for me. Stay tuned to it. Have a nice day.